Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can create the really most basic, as far as I can tell, trigger for a door-like mechanism. So through this tutorial, you will learn how to create a relationship between a trigger and a door-like location that opens up when you get into an interaction with the same trigger. Again, this will be super simple, the simplest way to explain and present the same mechanism that can have, of course, many, many different elements, but in this case, it will have the minimal amount of these, so you can kind of figure out what's happening and then upgrade it when you like. How it's going to work? Well, let me show you, this is my level, and the plan is for me to create an area right here that will lower this platform right here once the player gets to the same location. First I'm going to add the same plane that will be marked as the position that the player needs to get into and once the player gets there, uh, think of it as a platform that you step on, the same platform on the other side will go down. Imagine it as really a simplest door kind of a trap door that you would find in fantasy gaming or a castle or something like that. It's super simple, but it will provide you with the basic relationships that you need to have between these elements in Unreal Engine Blueprints and how you can then apply these to much more complex elements that will have animations or key functions and stuff like that. We won't do any of these, we're just going to do the simplest process to see, for me to show you how it works. So, let's get the plane here, it's right here, we need to enlarge it, like this, so that the players, in this case me, know where to step on. And the second thing would be to add a trigger box, which will be the same dimensions as this one. We'll make it bigger as well, so this is a simple box trigger be more precise and we're going to expand it to cover the same area the whole area and once the player gets into the space here the wall should go down now we need to get some relationships related to the wall and the process of changing its position we simply select it and then we'll go into blueprints open up level blueprints and choose by right clicking set relative location here it is and as you can see it's already connected to my basic element which is cube 7 and we have our new relative location right here now this node will actually change the position of the same object same static mesh once something happens that something will be the player entering the trigger box first of all let's compile this and save Another important element, if I select this wall, for example, you'll see here in under transform that it is under mobility static. We want that for a static wall, but for a movable object, we need to move it for the same static mesh to movable right here, as you can see. So it's not static, it's movable. If you don't do that, you'll get um, notifications, so it's not a big deal, but you should know it anyway. Okay, we now have the ability to move the wall we have the trigger box but we don't have these two connected so to do that i'm going to select the trigger box go back into the blueprint which i have a docked right here and add on play player begin or simply begin overlap so we need to get collisions add on actor begin overlap so it's a simple node which says once the same actor enters the space do something but we have a problem here it's connected to the plane and we want it connected to the trigger box also need to delete it go back into the level select the trigger box as you can see and then go back and do the same And here it is, it's connected to the trigger box. Now we simply need to connect this to set actor relative location. 
And once we have this, nothing will change because we don't have a new relative location. Instead, we need to take this and set it to a point where we want to have it once the same relationship or the connection between the trigger box and the movable object happens. So that will be changing the Z axis to, let's say, these numbers. So X and Y remain the same, Z transforms to this. Now we're going to copy and paste this here. And add the last one as well. And we have our new position where the same platform or door should appear. But we, if we would to try out this right now, the platform or the wall would simply disappear. Let's try it out actually. I'm saving it all. This is saved and compiled and let's try it in the game. I'm entering the game, here is the platform, here is the wall, let me backtrack into it and poof it's gone, which is how it's supposed to work. However, we want to add a tiny bit more to this, which is going to be a really shoddy, really basic kind of like animation without actually using any kind of animation element. We're simply going to copy these elements right here into uh, several lines of the same nodes that are divided by a great node, a simple node called delay. And here it is. I'm going to set that delay duration to 0 0.8 seconds and I'm going to copy these and don't forget the connection here. Let's add two of those. But the only difference is it's the first change in position will not be to the end result which is Z2040 240, but it's going to be something in between the starting position and the ending position. So we have this one which is the starting position and I'm going to lower it by let's say 100, 200. This one is going to be 380 for example and the ending is going to be 220 which 240 which is the actual ending position we want to have between these I'm going to add these delays so it's going to be like a cascade of movements here and here with something like one second delay between those I'm going to compile it and Let's see it in action. Here it is. Here's the trigger. Let me take a good vantage point. Go back to it. And it went down gradually. Again, it's not an animation in its true form, but it serves the same purpose of showing players that something did occur once they went to the right position and did the right thing or the thing they are supposed to be doing. So there you have it. It's really simple. It's really easy. The whole process of adding these nodes without the delay is actually simply three nodes, which is the box trigger, setting off factor relative location connected to the same object, which then transforms that position to some other position. Really simple, really easy. And in my view, the simplest way how you can create a feature like this for your game. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving me a like. That's the easiest way you can support me. There are a bunch of other ways how you can do the same. All of them include sending me money in some shape or form, but you can skip all of that subscribing and watching other videos that I created is more than enough. Thank you so much once again. Have a great day. Have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels and I'll see you on my new tutorial video pretty soon. Until then, bye bye.